Hello Wargamers and welcome to another Ultimate General Civil War with me Bubblebox and today we are going for the Gaines Mill, one of the grand battles, it's 27th of June 1862 and General McClellan's invasion army raids Confederate lands near Richmond. We, or you, are defending the right flank of the Union Army versus the over-aggressive tactics of General Lee. Lee claims to gain tactical superiority and force us to withdraw from the peninsula. So let's have a look at the army that I've got together to defend. First of all, I didn't have any career points in the last battle uh, for some reason. I don't know why, but I didn't have any career points to distribute. And I've got a few wounded guys and I've used a lot of new weapons and I'll just tell you briefly what I've done. The main army is going to be two core. So this is going to be my main army and I've got a lot of artillery. Um, so we've got some uh, 10 pounders, we've got a full another six, so the six pounders, more 10 pounders and some 12 pounder Napoleons as well. Huge amount of artillery backed up by lots of infantry, not the best infantry, our best infantry are at the top here in the 1st Division and they've got the 1855 Springfields, the upgraded Springfields and I've got a lot of upgraded Springfields and Harpers, upgraded Harpers Ferries, the 1855 Harpers Ferries as well for the rest of our units was just a few at the bottom here with the old 1842 weapons so we've got upgraded weapons, so we've got lots of artillery, that's our main army and then in one corps, which we're also going to be taking with us We've got all our cavalry, so we've got Grant here, we've got Shamurma, who's also got Palmettos, got Trabu, who's got the Colts, also the Sabres of course, a little bit more powerful weapon but slightly less amount of troops in that particular brigade. And uh, then we've got some skirmishers, a big skirmisher brigade with the Sharps model 1855 and then a few more infantry with just the basic Springfield 1842. So that's our force. I have spent some of my uh, prestige points or reputation points on weapons and I've basically spent all my money on new weapons rather than on veteran units so we've got upgraded weapons and lots of units to fight with in this particular battle so we're going to be heading into Gaines Mill get our orders and set our cores so first of all it's a defensive battle so the defensive battles in this game are always a bit easier I find than the offensive battles so we're going to put two core in there with all its artillery so the artillery are going to push back and stop the enemy engaging with us or, or attacking our defensive position and then our reinforcements which are going to bring our cavalry and some other some kind of rookie type units and they're going to be coming in hopefully a little bit later on we're not up to full brigades but we've got enough the enemy's got 48,500 soldiers we though only have 33,700 so perhaps a little bit worrying I'll let you read through the historical background a little bit there on the left if you want to pause and we shall start this grand cam grand battle so sir our forces are executing a tactical withdrawal withdrawal to prepare for Lee's attack on our right flank okay our objective is to hold the line along Botswan Creek to protect the main Union army which is deployed a few miles to the south okay Rebels are currently marching towards our location and preparing for a major assault. So you can see the grand battle maps are much bigger than the smaller ones. Unknown enemy numbers may attempt to surround us from northeast. There's going to be a lot of enemy in this battle, isn't there? There's going to be swarms of them. You must hold our position and not allow the Confederates to pass through. Otherwise, our army will be in great danger and get surrounded and destroyed. And we don't want that to happen, do we? No, no, no. The only reinforcements we expect are a few elements of our own corps. The rest of the Union forces must hold a defensive line against a possible rebel attack. Oh, thanks very much. Thanks very much. So, General, rebels are pursuing us and are coming from the road passing Gaines Mill. We must buy time for our army to establish a defensive line along Botswane Creek. It is advised to deploy skirmishers to delay the enemy. Okay, let's pause real quick and check out this map. So victory conditions at the moment are victory we must uh, at least one must be fulfilled hold butts one woods hold butts one hill and we must also one of those uh, yeah one of those two and hold mcgee hill which we do at the moment and uh, to draw hold mcgee hill and inflict two percent one five percent more casualties okay so mcgee hill then is this hill here i guess is it 
I guess that's that might be Bot's one. I'm not sure. Oh no, here's McGee Hill because we hold it already. Okay, that must be Bot's one there. So we've got to get our units in defensive positions and delay the advance. Is all we've got to do really. So yeah, well I think we're going to be wanting. I'm not sure. Let's deploy. I guess we need to be bringing our guns back a bit. Let's put our guns up here for now. And then we'll send some skirmishers out and about just to check out what the heck's going on. So we'll send our skirmisher over there. Um, we'll send another set of skirmishers over to those trees. I guess we've got to get back to here to defend, I guess. And we can drop some more skirmishers on the way back across. We'll drop some skirmishers there. And then pull Edwards back. We could just leave Edwards there, could we? Let's hold him there, just leave him there. Bring out, make sure we get our artillery out. Um, Arnold, I don't want Arnold, all of Arnold to go up there. Um, now Arnold can drop some skirmishers and then Arnold can come back maybe to the river here. And you can kind of go in there. And then back here we've got our main army. So we'll just stick MacArthur in there. And we'll stick you on that flank. You on there. My friend on there. And McGowan can kind of be held in reserve with some skirmishers going out on our flank just to check that we're not going to get attacked from over there. And I'm just wondering whether... Um, we're not going to get attacked from the back here, are we, surely? No. Um, let's bet that we're not. Okay, let's start. So we are in the ascendancy at the moment with the most units on the field, but I'm sure that's going to change very shortly. Yeah, we need to get these guns into a back position. Let's send some skirmishes forward just to scout. We'll send these skirmishers over to the right here so we don't get f guns don't get flanked. Edwards is going to sit there. These skirmishers mm, need to go somewhere. Let's send them over there. Over there. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, let's see what happens. Ambrose P spotted, so that's Bert Skirmishev has spotted already some of the enemy. Let's pull back. Let's pull back, pull back. So we've got 1 hour 49 to hold out. And then that will be extended to do something else later on, because these, these big grand battles take part in a number of stages. So are we all in position? What's McGowan doing? In fact, we can. S oh, what McGowan's doing? Can you just stop there? Yeah, you need to withdraw. There's a lot of units here. A lot of units. Let's put Appler in these trees just to try and hold them up. It'll give a chance for Edwards to pull back if necessary. He's about to engage, I think. Yep, they are in the open, so he should do okay unless they charge him. And if they charge him, we'll just need to pull him back real quick. Send these skirmishers up on the hill here. Okay, these Appler skirmishers are in a good defensive position against these guys. Although Anderson looks like he's going to be heading across that bridge. I think at the moment it's just a matter of delay. We're about half and half on unit numbers at the moment. So Apple's skirmishers have engaged their skirmishers on the hill. Anderson is taking a fair bit of punishment. The skirmishers are going to flank, so if he can bring Hobson across to attack their skirmishers. Apple, you need to get back into the building. He's got a good vision. Gowan's got good vision over that side. And Edwards has got uh, not the best vision over this side, to be honest. 
I'm just going to send him across there just to make 100% sure they don't send units down that side. Well, Greg's heading up. So the skirmish is here while being engaged. But Greg's going to overwhelm Appler anytime soon. I'm wondering whether to stick some units in here, maybe. I might send McGowan forward. We'll put him into the building here. Someone's charging. Get back, skirmishers. Run away. We are delaying them. One hour 25 to go. A lot of units around here, though. I think we should maybe think about pulling Edwards back because they are going to just charge him. So, yeah, I'm going to pull him back. We'll get through to there. Okay, I want to get Edwards back across the river here. Our guns are opening up, which is... Actually, I forgot all about my guns. Let's move you forward so you can get a vision. Let's pull the skirmishers back. They're getting charged. Oh, God, they're going to get swamped. Oh, no, they've made it out, I think. Let's pull you back. Got a bit of artillery support now. Oh, he's getting charged. Pull back. Oh, some skirmishes on this side as well. Let's move our skirmishes forward. Hobson's going to get caught in the. Yeah, he's going to need to push this guy back. Right, both our guns are on them, so that's good. Let's engage Pender. I can hear the clash of steel somewhere. Okay, you attack their skirmishers. They are in the river. This will be okay. Get into the building, Appler. No, we'll have McGowan in the building. Appler can go in this building over here. Right, we've kind of got them across the river a bit. Now, actually, Hobson can just pull back so that he doesn't get caught out in the open in the river. Right, I don't want to lose these guns. That's going to be absolutely incredibly important that they don't rush and take those guns out. Let's bring these skirmishers up, see if we can do a little bit of flanking. Right, those guns are opening up as well. Here's where the main battle's happening. Managed to route one of their units, so they should go backwards. There's a lot of units right here as well. Okay, they're charging. Let's pull back. Let's get rid of a slightly better position. Get McGowan all the way back now. Right, it's going to be soon time to retreat the guns, I feel. Let's go forward a little bit with these guys. We are actually might have to hold them at this junction. These guys are a bit of a worry on the left here. Right, McGowan's made his way back. So he can come back for a bit of a rest, be a kind of a reserve. You can go and hassle Greg. You need to pull right back. Alright, we've got Hobson protecting our guns here. I think it's okay to leave the guns for a bit longer. We've managed to route one of their brigades. Melling, unfortunately. Come back, skirmishers. So that's Botswood Hill, Botswain Hill. We have to hold, and that's Botswain Wood. So we should be able to do that. I think. Forty-three minutes left. 
Surely we can do that. I'm a bit worried about our flank here now. Right, Arnold's really damaged now. We'll have to pull Arnold out of the fight for a bit, I think. Let's see what damage has been done. So our soldiers, 18... We've lost 700-ish. And the Confederates... Well, they've lost nearly two, over 2,000 so far, so we're doing okay. Arnold's out of the fight for the moment. Right, they're bursting through the middle, which means they might be in danger of getting flanked here. Unless I can maybe send Arnold across to slow them down a bit. And these skirmishes back forward. Where's our supply wagons? Bring our supply wagon forward. Just resupply these artillery. Oh, careful it doesn't get captured here. Right, Arnold, make your way over here slowly so you can recover. Protect that flank there. Skirmishes have been spotted again. Let's draw. Edwards doing a good job, 600 kills, 130 deaths. Arnold's actually done really well, 600 and 200. Let's keep an eye on the enemy. Arnold's really struggling to move, it seems. minutes to hold out. Anderson's moving away by the looks of it. Arnold's going to get himself into a nice position on the left right flank of our guns. They are going to need rearming re real soon so we need to get these supplies over there. They're getting low on ammo. Oh, being charged. We'll let Appler try and deal with this. I'm going to send Arnold to here. Oh, he's managed to rout them. Okay, let's send Arnold over to the flank then. Appler's managed to uh, rout the enemy there. Careful, don't go too far across there. Pull back, pull back. Wow, two big brigades up here now. Let's move Arnold forward just to check out what's going on. Right, Apple's kind of survived that little attack. I'll just reposition him. He's in danger of getting flanked by field. There's nothing else going to attack him from the front, really. Archer's not looking that strong. Arnold's here to protect against Field. Oh, Field's moving. Someone's charging. Who's charging? I can hear. Oh, okay, they're charging my skirmishes. Run away! So Appler gets a well-earned rest, so he'll get his condition up a little bit. Okay, so the rebels continue to attack. How far are we in? Oh, I think we should still go for a bit longer. It's only been, what, 20 minutes, 15 minutes? So let's continue. So, more rebels' forces have been spotted coming. Okay, so we've got another 2 hours 29 to hold out. So a bunch more enemy on the way. 
Now, the question is, I could move... Let's move McGowan forward, try to support... A, I don't know, though. Let's move him forward. I can always pull him back. But I fear we're going to get overrun with another wave of enemy very soon, so... I think we're holding them back quite well. At the moment we've got victory conditions because we hold Botswan Hill, Botswan Hill and McGee Hill. So that's McGee Hill. We've got a hole and that's Botswan Hill. Alright, okay. I'm going to just detach some skirmishers from Loomis. And just send them up on this hill because I'm paranoid about getting being flanked. And I'm going to detach some from, from Foreman as well. And I'm going to send them right out on the flank because I'm worried that their enemy is going to come from that direction. Okay, meanwhile, looks like they're moving. Okay, they're moving in on us. Let's try and flank a little bit. In fact, we've got Arnold back here as well. So let's attack them. Let's surround them. Oh, they've got guns in on the action. That's bad news. See if we can uh, flank them with our skirmishers. Yeah, they are trying to flank us around here. Let's uh, attack their skirmishers with our skirmishers. See if we can attack Phil before Branch arrives. Uh, we've broken Pender on the right, on the left. Let's bring these skirmishes across. Yeah, they are trying to flank us. I knew they would. We've got a lot of firepower into field though. And he's not really got any support at the moment. Okay, now we're not spotted, so we might be able to uh, attack these guns. Just disrupt their artillery for a few minutes. Attack their skirmishes without skirmishes. So there's two brigades here now, but we're in a lovely defensive position here. Let's move McGowan forward. more guns coming up. Oh, okay, we need to take this chance to attack these guns before there's a lot of units on the way. These guys are actually routed. I'm going to charge these guys before the rest of their units arrive. Take a few of their cannons down. Oh, there's some skirmishes there. Shit. Actually, where's Brewster needs to be in on the battle, I think. He needs to get down there and help his units out. Oh, we've got the guys on the left. We have... Okay, let's get you out of there now. And pull back. Get our resupply wagon back, I think. Let's 
Let's close ranks a little bit here. Let's attack these skirmishes. Right, here they come. This is going to be a big attack. Yeah, let's get the skirmishes out of there. This left flank is putting my guns under a little bit of pressure now. Don't like this. What I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to pull... Let's pull Arnold over to the to the left side. Edward's getting low on ammo. Who's charging? Wow, 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 wow. McGowan, get back to get back in the base. No, actually, Chad. Yeah, get back in the base, get back in the base. Shit, our flanks under attack. Heavily. That's too many units to hold. That's too many. Let's bring these skirmishes down to help out. Oh shit, shit, shit. Arnold, get over there. Run, run, run. Be time to pull our guns back. McGowan, come and help out on the flank. You need to run as well. I'm going to pull this guy. Go over to the right hand side. Oh no. Yeah, Arnold's in position. Thank God for that. Okay. They're going to take some. Uh, Big shots from our artillery now, they're that close. Let's try and hassle these guys a little bit. Okay, let's put you on the hill. I think it's soon time to retreat back into the base because we're going to get overwhelmed at some point and we need our forces mobile and concentrated in one area. So many units here. up through the trees. I'm going to put Lewis Lou, McGowan there in case they charge. Okay, push this guy back. Okay, I'm a bit happier now. We've got three large brigades and our artillery as well. A bit worried where this brigade's gone. Let's check it out with our skirmishers. Edwards is getting low on it. He's out of ammo, actually. Shit. Let's get the ammo truck back for Edwards. Yeah, we're going to have to help Edwards out, I think. I'm going to get Edwards to withdraw because he's got no ammo left. Let's try and hold with the skirmishes for a second. I've oh, got Falkerton attacking as well. There's their little group of units. Holding on the right flank, just about. Foreman's in on the action on Archer now, so that's cool. Right, we need that resupply truck. Come on. There's a 
I'm scared. Oh, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We've got some reinforcements. Shit. Didn't even see them come in. Right. Let's move up. Let's move up. Let's move up. And we've got another set. Are they the six? We've got more guns. Oh, we've got some. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Okay. We're going to put those up on the hill here, I think. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Just what we needed. Just at the right time. 52 minutes to hold out to the next stage. Got another battalion attacking there. Right, uh, at least Edwards is going to get some resupply. Get back in on the action. Apple is getting low on ammo now. Let's just stop that. Let's get Edwards done first. And we can get Edwards back into the trees. Okay, they're starting to try and flank, so let's get these battalions down into position. Let's engage with McGowan. I need this gun in on the action real soon. Right, Edwards has got some ammo. Let's move the ammo truck a bit closer so we can get Apple up some ammo as well. Let's move Edwards back into the trees to help against this guy. Luckily these guys came in just in time. I don't know what's happened to our cavalry. We should be getting some cavalry reinforcements as well. going in the trees a little bit, a little bit of cover. Okay, should be getting some ammo now. Oh, he's being attacked. Let's fall back. Let's get our ammo truck back as well. Rooster, try and help it with the skirmishers. these skirmishes as well. We need to use everybody now. Let's use these skirmishes. Guns are going to open up. McGowan, don't go crazy. Let's pull back into cover. Okay, let's pull back these guys. Let's send Apple up forward again. enemy has got a lot of units on the field at the moment so we have lost 3,000 the enemy's lost five six seven eight thousand and they've still got a lot more units than us on the field let's attack with the skirmishers seem to be a lot of them seem to be here Gowan get back in the fight man yeah, they're just trying to flank us on the right there I'm happy we've held that whole army on the left though in fact we're pushing them back here a little bit Keep hassling, keep hassling. Oh, they're routed. Nice. Okay, just hold back a second. Our cannon's firing. Yes. Superb. Right, Apple is back into position. Edwards is doing okay now. Now they've all got ammo. They're firing. When they get low on ammo, by the way, or have no ammo, they do still fire, but they reload really slowly. So... Let's get our supply back across the bridge. Where's this brigade gone? How are we doing over here? Oh, there's more units appearing. Look, more units. We're going to get flanked if we're not careful. 
need more reinforcements. Oh, there they are, right over there. Right, in that case, I'm going to put my skirmishers... No, we'll leave, we'll leave Arnold there for emergencies. Got to break this attack on this side. If I can break this attack on this side, then we're looking good. I'll do a little skirmish attack down there while they're in the water. In fact, let's send Arnold down as well to attack these guys. Was enemy seems to have disappeared. Move some skirmishers across to keep an eye out what's going on there. You must hold to the end of the day. And I think we'll pick that up at the beginning of the next episode. We're doing okay. Our right flank's looking a bit shaky. I'm wondering if there's going to be yet another wave of enemy, but hopefully we'll get a few more reinforcements. We haven't had our cavalry and our skirmishers. Um, in other words, we haven't had our first corps in yet. So hopefully that happened in the next episode. So thank you all very much for watching. Hopefully you'll be back for the next episode and I'll see you then.